welcome to today's episode of the Balanced Approach Podcast. I'm your host, Lou Padian. I hope that you're doing well and are enjoying the podcast and the topics we've covered so far. These podcasts are released every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so be sure to subscribe wherever you are listening to be kept up to date. So today we're going to be rounding off almost like a mini-series, but they can apply to so many different aspects that I didn't want to label them as just a mini-series, around these New Year's resolutions, people getting fitter and healthier in the new year. And a big part of that is often overlooked and could be the secret ingredient for a lot of people, and that is being part of community. And You've probably heard about me speak about it before, but it's something that I'm really passionate about. And that's why I've created the Unwrap Healthy Habits community. So obviously, if you're interested, just reach out. I can send you the link or you'll be able to find it on my Instagram and social media. You'll be able to join there. But being part of the community makes all the difference. Studies show that up to 50% of people trying to lose weight, which is often a common goal, feel isolated and unsupported. And that could be that their friends or their families don't really understand. They don't really know what to do. And that can really hinder their progress, can stop them making any meaningful progress further down the road. And again, once people feel alone, that they don't feel that they're community or they don't feel a part of anything, and if your habits, behaviors don't align with the people around you, it can be really difficult and you can lose motivation and basically just give up. But actually finding a tribe or a community can make all the difference in that. So the reasons that I talk about community so much, and that's because of observed and part of my master's when I did my research project was around looking at sustainable weight management programs and what makes them effective. A big part of that was the community element and often when we look at this we look at Weight Watchers, Slimming World are the main common ones where it's been commonly there was a few of the sort of within the NHS as well that were run and they all run group sessions and there's a big part of that a big part of that is these sort of areas that we discuss now. So shared struggles and shared victories. We want to be all feel part of a group that understands us. We want to be able to talk through our problems or talk through our problems with people who understand, who mm. will be able to help us empathize and being part of a community where everyone's trying to achieve the same thing, you'll find that. But often as well, the things that you're trying to achieve, they'll want to celebrate with you as well. So fosters empathy, motivations, and a sense of belonging, which are all important to buying into those habits and behaviors. And that's what we're trying to create with the Unwrapped Healthy Habits as well, is trying to Get people who want to support each other on being healthier, getting fitter, managing their weight a bit better, having a positive relationship with food, enjoying exercise, however that looks to them. That's what we want to be a part of. So a big part of that as me leading it would be having these group sessions where we can all communicate and talk, where we can share our problems, where we can actually share solutions and different ways around how we thought about it as well. And, and when I've led groups in the past, often a lot of success comes from the people within the group. There's bits that I add in there, but people will go through these things in real life. They'll know when they've had a really rough weekend and they want to reach for the phone to dial up their local takeaway and eat everything under the sun. And they'll, other people will go, I feel like that too. And this is how I manage it. And maybe in that situation, it might be, I call up a friend and I talk to him about how I'm feeling and vent a little bit. Or I call someone in the community and discuss it with them. But also when people have these massive successes where they're losing weight, and this is where a lot of these slimming groups actually get their success, is sharing these successes with each other. And whilst I'm not a big fan of Slim World and Weight Watchers, this is something that they do really well and something that I really find difficult to support them on because they do it really well, but there's so much wrong with them as well. Mm. But the community element is hugely important. Second of all is that peer support, but also expert insights. And this is where these slim groups can fall down because what I would define as an expert, someone who has studied in the area, who's got learned experience, but also understands the research, understands human, works on human behavior change. And a lot of people who lead these slimming groups don't have the qualifications or experience. They often just have to pay a fee and they can run a group or they'll have to have lost weight within it, which doesn't make them an expert in that area. It just makes them part of the journey really so community members share trips trip tips tricks and advice on overcoming obstacles and it could be something around meal prepping strategies workout sort of hacks or tips and gaming gaining that valuable knowledge from diverse group but also having someone in charge and sort of navigating that conversation understanding and going okay well this is actually really links in with what we're trying to achieve here and i think this is a really good way to set up those goals and often that's my role as a coach if i'm leading a group is to sit down with them and go right 
let's have a look at where this conversation is going. Let's round it up and put it into these simple actual takeaways that we can all work on for the next week. And it sort of helps where often we might have been in groups before where people have got really strong opinions and as me as a coach might be managing that that energy and that passion into something a bit more manageable and also giving opportunity for people who potentially aren't as loud to speak up as well. So again, that's where the expert insight plus the peer support can be really, really good. And I feel like a lot of the other groups don't really have that, but the Unwrap Healthy Habits is definitely a community that has that. Accountability and encouragement. And this is where people who go alone versus groups really, really struggle is they're only accountable to themselves. Knowing where you've got to turn it to a group or you've got to catch up with your group or you've got to check in with a coach, for example, having that accountability makes people more likely to take up the actions. And this is when I've looked at the research that women really, how they see these weight management groups such as Slim World and Weight Watchers versus men. And this is one of the things that I want to get back, I'm looking at mixed groups, but also female and males only groups as well within the community and within patients is women often go to these groups and this isn't to belittle their focus on weight loss but actually it's because they're part of the community and they've got friends there that they'll meet with their friends they'll catch up they'll see how they're getting on they'll have that community element really really strong and then they'll get weighed as a consequence or they'll work on their weight loss as a consequence and that's how it sort of appears when men don't tend to focus too much on the community. They just want to be told what to do when women as a whole, and I know I'm making massive generalizations, but this is what the literature tells us that often men just want to be told what to do and almost go, yep, yeah, no, just give me a plan and I'll stick to it and I'll grind it out. But actually there's a lot more emotion involved usually with women. So that accountability and encouragement is hugely a big part of when women are within a group or a mixed group in particular, they're huge uh, drivers of that encouragement and accountability they're huge drivers of building that community together making sure they're checking in with each other making sure that people are feeling motivated that they're reinforcing positive behaviors but also again that shared peer support is a big part of that as well last but not least is the celebration of diversity within these communities again a supportive community community embraces everyone includes people from different backgrounds and having those other perspectives can be really, really inspiring, but fill people with confidence as well and give people tools that they hadn't even been exposed to before. And that can be really, really beneficial. Often we don't want everyone to be the same within a group because whilst all their goals and problems might be the same, their experience and their tools might be the same as well. And we want people at different stages in their journeys as well. That's why a lot of these groups are really beneficial if we've got people who have almost come towards the end and we've got people starting. Those people are hugely invaluable at the end of their journey because they've gone through so much and they can take these people who are potentially new and a bit more less experienced and teach them so much about it that they don't have to go through all the pain and struggle of all these setbacks, but actually can just learn from other people's mistakes or lessons as well. So it can be really, really inspiring for them as well to see people who have succeeded, but also help them learn a lot more as well. So weight loss, as we know, isn't just about the number on the scale, but also about process and the progress along the way in all different aspects of health. And that's what we want to focus on. So that's why I talk about community so much and building community. And I've set up my own community and that'll be there as long as it needs to be, as long as people are engaging and want to use it, that's what it's there for. So if you aren't too sure, reach out to me. We can discuss, see if it's a good fit for you. But if you're ready to join, then just I can send you a link or you can find the link yourself and join that's what it's there for. We want it to be a really supportive and engaging community. So it's called Unwrap Healthy Habits and the link is in my bio, it should be in the description below this as well. So to conclude, weight loss doesn't have to be a solo journey or adventure. The community element can be hugely powerful and motivating. So finding your vibe and finding your tribe, sharing your stories, celebrating other people's triumphs along the way, learning from one another are all huge aspects within a community so whatever you're trying to achieve this january or if you listen to it later in the future what you're trying to, to do finding a community can be hugely invaluable and it just things that i've seen these communities do for people is mind-blowing so having that supportive network at your side help you find the strength when things get tough but motivation as well and the joy of the process along the way it doesn't all have to be around the weight loss actually 
It could be around how someone's week's been, they've had their birthday and celebrating that and having just a positive environment to turn up to where, yeah, we might have a look at the weight loss set progress or how their waist circumference is changing or how they've gone with their fruit and veg intake, hydration, all these types of things. But actually it's about the individual and celebrating the people there and cultivating a healthier, happier lifestyle for everyone involved. So being part of the community, I'd highly encourage it. Make sure you have a look at the Unwrap Healthy Habits and I'll catch you on another episode. So thank you very much for watching or listening to today's episode of the Balanced Approach podcast. If you like access to the free resources mentioned in this podcast, then just drop me a DM on Instagram at Louis Pady Nutrition. If you would be interested in getting healthier and happier in the new year, remember to join the waiting list by clicking the link below. It will be open from Boxing Day and will help you unwrap healthy habits into the new year.